Starting out today's video with the name of Allah, who is the most beneficent, the most merciful. May He protect us all and keep us all safe. Today we're going to talk about input and output devices. And in that, the subtopic will be input devices. And in input devices, we are once again going to talk about keyboards and mouse. I'm your teacher Mehba Nasir and I welcome you all to today's video. First of all, what are input devices? Input devices are the devices that we use to interact with the computer. We enter data and give instructions to the computer using different input devices. It might be a keyboard, a joystick, a scanner, microphone or a mouse. These are all different types of input devices that enter different type of input that give different type of input to the computer. Talking about keyboards, uh, a keyboard is an input device that we use to enter data into the computer. It helps us type text and give commands. The most common type of keyboard is QWERTY and why is it called QWERTY? It is because of the arrangement of keys on the keyboard. As you can see, the first five alphabet keys are Q, W, E, R, T, Y. The first row of the alphabet keys. By that, they have given the name to this type of keyboard, this arrangement of keys on the keyboard, the QWERTY arrangement, or they call it the QWERTY keyboards. A standard QWERTY keyboard has 104 keys or buttons on it. The types of keys on a keyboard, what are the different types? First of all, we have alphabet keys. Alphabet keys are the keys from A to Z, English alphabets. These are called the alphabet keys and these keys are used to type text. Whenever we have to type something, type text, uh, text we use these keys. Next, we have numeric keypad. Numeric keypad is on the right side of the keyboard in the form of a calculator. As you can see on the right side of your keyboard also that we have some number keys from zero to nine. We have an enter key. We have uh, four function keys, the mathematical functions, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And a numlock key, what's the function of numlock key? I'll tell you in another video. Now what is numeric keypad usually used for? It is usually used for calculations, calculator type and used for calculation. Next, function keys, these are on the top row of your keyboard and these are 12 keys in total, F1, F2, F3 and up to F12. Now function keys are assigned some specific functions like the F1 key is assigned the function of help. Whenever uh, we need help while using computer, we just press F1 key and the help center, uh, we are directly connected to the help center, right? So in the same way, uh, all these 12 keys are assigned some specific functions. That is why they are called the function keys. Now, we also have some special keys on the keyboard. We have a backspace key. We have a control key, we have alt key, we have delete key, we have shift key. All these are special keys and these keys are used to give some special or some specific commands to the computer. Talking about some special keys here, what commands are carried out by these special keys? An enter key. Enter key moves the cursor to the next line whenever we are typing. If we want to move to the next line, we press the enter key. Then we have a shift key. Shift key types text in uppercase. And if the caps lock is on, then uh, when we are pressing shift key and we type text, then it will be in lowercase. So it toggles between upper and lower case. Shift key is always used along with other keys. Moreover, you must have seen that some keys on the keyboard have two characters on it. So whenever we are uh, type uh, pressing those keys along with the shift key, 
we have we are holding down the shift key and we are pressing uh, the button with two characters on it the top character will be written otherwise without shift key the bottom character is written on the screen but when we press that button along with the shift key the top character is written then we have space bar space bar is the longest key on the keyboard and it is used to give space of one character between words the backspace key backspace key erases one character to the left of cursor if you have made any mistake you want to erase it you just go back press back backspace key and one character to the left of your cursor will be erased now comes mouse what is mouse actually mouse dekha to is a pointing device and it is used to point at words or icons on the screen and select them of course or open the uh, icons or objects uh, it enables us to move the pointer on the screen as we move the mouse on our mouse pad the pointer on the screen also moves in the same way around the screen a mouse usually has two buttons and a scroll wheel the left button right button and the scroll wheel now in front of you is a mouse uh, with uh, its buttons labeled this is the left mouse button right mouse button and a scroll wheel now what can we do with the mouse the first thing that we can do is click now what is click actually whenever we press and release a button on the mouse it is called a click right but usually click refers to the pressing and releasing of the left mouse button when we are pressing and releasing the right mouse button it is called right click but when we are pressing and releasing left mouse button it is just called click we don't call it left click right so press and release a button on the mouse is called a click double click whenever we press and release a button on the mouse twice it is called double click and double click is always done usually usually nahi definitely double click is done when we press and release the left mouse button twice and double click is to let the function perform if we are double clicking on an icon it means the computer is given the instruction to open that icon then click on the left mouse button once to select an object or icon on the screen if we want to select something we just go uh, move the pointer over that object and click it and that object will be selected now to open a command menu click on the right mouse button while pointing at any icon or object whenever we are pointing at any icon or object and we are pressing the right or clicking the right mouse button we are opening a command or menu and that is called the right click scroll wheel now what a scroll wheel do it is used to quickly scroll across the pages if we are uh, pressing pa page down or page up keys or we are uh, using uh, down arrow or up arrow keys that seems quite hectic or to ease ourselves we use scroll wheel to quickly scroll across the pages another function that is performed by using mouse is dragging what is dragging when we press and hold left mouse button while moving it we are pressing the button we are not releasing it and we are moving the mouse it is called dragging and when we are dragging we can move any object or icon on the screen how to hold a mouse so that your hands don't get strained to hold a mouse you have to put your index finger on the left mouse button and your middle finger on the right mouse button while holding the mouse firmly this is the correct way of holding the mouse so guys 
Today, in input and output devices, we talked about keyboard and mouse, which are the two most common input devices. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and keep it up. Keep doing the good work. Allah Hafiz.